Hello everybody, welcome to the new video. So today we'll see the daily activities of a DevOps engineer in, you know, uh, uh, for Terraform and Ansible. So basically uh, in Terraform, whenever new requests come uh, to uh, provision the infrastructure. So if we already have the script ready, then we can use the same but if the requirement is little different and we don't have the uh, script for it then we have to do the changes accordingly test it out and then you know uh, try provisioning the infrastructure so that is one writing the script testing it out secondly is that is there any drift so we for that we can run terraform plan that if there is any drift in our script and the actual infrastructure that is one thing that we have to look upon then uh, if we are using modules so those modules are updated no changes are required if you know uh, the, we are there are different environments for which we are using terraform script uh then those environments you know are running uh, uh for those environments the script is properly running and if so for sake th that is only the thing that we, if the script is already there then uh, those scripts should run properly if not then we have to create the script test it out the uh you know uh, our uh, remote backend is working fine our uh, tf state file is consistent and it is locked and then we have to integrate it with uh, you know a pipeline and there should be no failures if there are failures then we have to uh, plan accordingly like, like if there can be any rollback or uh, we have to debug the issue so that all thing we have to do regarding the ansible so ansible is also used as a configuration management infrastructure provisioning so in uh, uh, we'll talk about configuration management so if there is a request that we have to do some configuration in the in the list of the servers so we have to write the playbook test it out run it and the most second most important thing is to maintain the inventory because on which all servers we have to run that playbook th those servers uh, inventory has to be maintained so that ansible can execute the playbook on it and a uh, connection and everything if there is any error uh, then uh, there is also this requirement that we have to integrate that playbook uh, with our ci cd pipeline so that whenever the pipeline runs then uh, that playbook should get executed so that is one thing that we have to work upon so uh, these are few things that we have to you know uh, take care when we are working with terraform and ansible so these are the daily activities and these things will not be uh, uh, i would like to tell you these things will not be coming daily because if there are specific requirements coming to you know uh, related to these things because in many organization we are not using terraform we are not using ansible we are not using cloud formation they are doing it manually as of now uh, they are property from infrastructure so they do it manually but if uh, they, they are using some cli commands to do it so uh, most of the organization they are not using it even uh and if uh, like uh, if you are using so these requirements are not daily but if any specific requirements come and you can in you are using it and if your organization allows you to use it so you have to do all these tasks using the terraform and ansible so i hope you know uh, the things are clear that uh, uh, with terraform and ansible what we have to do and uh, how much in frequency the tasks are coming for these uh, you know uh, for this terraform and ansible so uh, that uh, that's all for today's video i hope it's helpful and please let me know your views in the comment section and uh, as we are ending this series now daily activities from uh, like from the next video we'll again take up uh, whatever like if some important because i'm been getting many comments uh, regarding many important topics so i'll pick that up and yeah so yeah that's all take care bye